Field of eight, field set to go. Right Single from behind, Blue Racing Four. Now my rock R Lee hesitated, leapt up in the air and missed it by three lengths. So might pay to hold all tickets there. There was an attendant with the horse. French Flirt jumped away quickly, pushes forward outside of Hard Squeeze to share the front and Grand Terrain between them at the judge. They were followed by Quite the Lass, who's three wide and Crimson Lights went off the fence and kept it deep from Wacker Manor. Jennifer Moose, the inside, and My Rock Alley is at the end of the field after a tardy get-go. 1,500 metres to go, the leader hard squeeze by about a length and a half to French Flirt. Grand Terrain third on the rails and Quite the Lass dropped in for a lovely trail. Virtually one out and one back, Crimson Light is re there, so it's overdoing it. Wacker Manor kept it one off the rails, and they were followed further back in the field by Jennifer Moose and last by Rock Ali. To the bottom corner, 12.50 out, the leader hard squeeze as it likes. By a length and a quarter, French flirt. Third, the inside Grand Terrain, and fourth, quite the lass as they take the sting out of the race to the back section. Crimson Light is fifth on the inside from Wacker Manor. Two further back is My Rock Ali on the outside of Jennifer Moose as they reach the 1000 marker. Through halfway, hard squeeze the leader by a length to in second French Flirt and then came Grand Terrain. Next in the race is Quite the Lass and then came Crimson Light Wacker Manor. My Rock Ali on the outside of Jennifer Moose and it's no change in the order. To the side of the course at the 700 metres, hard squeeze, trying to lead all of the way the $7 chance by about a half length of French Flirt. Then came Grand Terrain who finds itself under pressure as they start to really dial it up. Then came Quite the Lass, Wacker Manor out three and four deep is healed up, giving chase about five off the lead from Crimson Light. My Rock Ali's trying to track Wacker Manor and Jennifer Moose at the end. Hard Squeeze has got away before the corner at the 250, about two and a half lengths in front of French Flirt. Quite the last Wacker Manor, Crimson Light, Grand Terrain. Hard Squeeze into the running, led by three or four lengths to Quite the last Crimson Light, French Flirt. Hard Squeeze needs the line late, still about a length and three quarters in front, and Hard Squeeze is too good. Hard Squeeze by about a length and a quarter. Crimson Light quite the lass and in came Jennifer Moose. Next French flirt behind those Grand Terrain in company with My Rock R. Lee and Wacker Manor at the tail of the field. Impressive is and Hard Squeeze carries them to victory today. Race number three goes to Hard Squeeze. Jai McNeil hits the board. Crimson Light, terrific run. Quite the lass runs third. Hutch made... Uh, a light work of it. It unfolded, but there was a little bit of, when we saw the gates initially open, there were a, uh, a few nervous moments uh, for one of the contenders. We'll go back and have a look at that uh, afterwards. But how did this all unfold, Hutch? Yeah, look, I, look, the horse that didn't seem to handle this track that well never travelled nice. He's widest of all that stage, Wakamana. But uh, Jai just rated, I think, hard squeeze beautifully. They were positive today. Um, it looks like French Flirt maybe didn't stay the trip, bit weak late and was in that spot. Good effort from quite the last and Crimson Light second up, closest at the finish. But no, just a beautifully rated ride. She's super consistent. She always tries hard. She's been up, you know, she should have a better record than she does, Hard Squeeze, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, she's been unlucky on a few occasions. Wakamana just never travelled tonight. It was didn't step brilliantly wide without cover for the first half and brought that same form reference that we 